Welcome back. It's the 13th day of Veda, and look at this. It's only 10 to 10, and I've already finished running and eating dinner, so I've got time to, to put together a vlog without being in panic mode. Uh, Paula Den Oden asked me some questions about teaching, to ask me to talk about teaching a little bit, and I will try to address those in a way that tells a little bit about how I got into teaching and more importantly, maybe I can make it relevant for anybody out there either trying to think about teaching themselves or just looking for a career and not sure how to go about finding it. Uh, she first asked me, how did I figure out that this is where I wanted to be, working as a teacher in a high school? The, the truth is it was not a, a direct route exactly, although when I graduated from high school and started to college, um, I was heavily influenced by a teacher that I had had, and, and uh, Mike Delp was his name, a mentor of mine. I, I went to the school that he had gone to, Alma College. Much of the, the thinking was that I might go into teaching, although it wasn't something I wanted to do, and I actually fought it for a long time because, uh... let me back up. In high school, I was a very good student as, uh, up through my junior year, I was third in my class. Um, and then in my senior year, I was placed in an alternative educational program called GOAL, Group Operation and Awareness and Learning, where I managed to, in one year, fall from third in my class standing to 13th, mostly by playing an incredible amount of a card game called Euchre, which is very popular in Michigan, but also working with uh, a lot of kids who were po basically potential dropouts. Um, I wasn't one of those, but we worked together, and I just found that interesting. And... Uh, it made me maybe part it partially got my interest in teaching and working in that kind of role uh peaked but also the guy that did the the class prophecies his name was Mick said that in uh you know in those future years 30 years from our graduation Steve would be back at, at teaching the goal class because the only thing he learned in it was how to teach it um and that sort of made me reluctant to become a teacher for some reason uh, so I, but I went to Alma College and majored in English, uh, had minors in math and music, and, and went through the teaching program. And my junior year, I was awarded a fellowship. I got to go to Africa, where I taught in a developing school in Odeyekiti. Uh, I did not finish that program for a number of reasons, but I found it fascinating to be in another culture. I uh, was not at all prepared to teach English as a second language in another culture. Um, which is one of the reasons why I didn't finish the program, but it was fascinating. But when I came back to Michigan, uh, one thing, I had not been on campus and didn't have my student teaching set up, and more importantly, there were not a lot of teaching jobs in Michigan at the time, and I wanted to stay in Michigan. So when I graduated, I didn't go into teaching. I, I loved music, and the, although I was not very good at it, so the closest I could come to finding a career that was at all related to music is I went into marketing working for a radio station. Um, but I didn't have much to do with the music, actually. That was sort of a dream that I would one day become program director. Um, but it, that never happened. But I worked in marketing and uh, enjoyed it. For a while, but radio even then was already a shrinking and and an industry that was in trouble. So eventually, I took a job with one of my uh, accounts, uh, working in video real re, video retailing, and wound up buying. I, I opened a store for him uh, when when VHS rentals were becoming a big thing. I opened a store for him, bought that store from him, went into business for myself, was an entrepreneur, opened a second store. The first store did very well, second store did okay, I opened a third store and lost my tail. But anyway, I, I started to look around and I had gotten involved in community theater at the Old Town Playhouse in Traverse City, wonderful institution. Uh, we did a lot of work there and started to also branch out. I worked with Cherry County Playhouse, um, some, some semi-professional theaters. I don't want to make it sound like I was brilliant at any of this, but I did a lot of it and I enjoyed it very much. When I got to, I, I directed three musicals. First, well, I co-directed Cinderella and then we, I directed Bye Bye Birdie and then I directed Grease. And those are all three shows that have a lot of young people in the cast, and I really, really enjoyed working with them and decided, you know, this is what I wanted to do a long time ago. I would go back to school and become a teacher. And even then, I wasn't sure where the market for teaching was, so I went to Detroit where there were more openings and I thought I could have some potential to, to be successful. And I was interested also in, in leaving behind Traverse City, which is a wonderful place to live, but I was kind of getting tired of the all-white all the time nature of it, the place, and wanted to 
again, be involved in a place that was a little more diversified culturally. So I went to Detroit and I, I had a great experience there, but there were some problems there. And also I saw an opportunity when I, at, at Castec High School, I became advisor of the Latinos Unidos um, Student Club and got involved in the notion of teaching English as a second language. And that basically led me out to California and where I've been happy pretty much with my job here in Palm Springs. So it was not a direct route. And, and I left out a lot of things after my business uh, sort of went, went downhill. I did a lot of really weird odd jobs. I worked as a bartender, a, a doorman in a bar, worked at McDonald's, um, did all kinds of odd jobs and anything that would keep me fed. And I think that is the secret of how I, I wound up here was that you just keep moving. You find what you can do, where you can be helpful, where you can um, survive and do the best job you can at it and, and look for any open door, any opportunity. You don't know where it's gonna be, but eventually you find what, what works for you. How, so how long did it take? The second question she asked was, how long did it take before I felt I was good at it? I'm still not sure I'm good at it, to be honest. I am not a great teacher. Uh, and the, the biggest thing is though that I'm not sure there is such a thing as a good teacher or even a great teacher in the sense that we see them in the movies because the truth is students are so unique. Um, everyone is different and, and what works with one kid doesn't work with the next kid. And it's finding what works with each kid that makes for a successful teacher. And one teacher is not gonna work with all kids. Understanding that I think helps me be a better teacher, but it doesn't help me become the person that every kid needs. There are kids I work really well with that I felt I have been really helpful for, and there are kids that I've not been the right match for. And, and that's something that, that you have to come to accept. The other thing is if you want to be a teacher, you have to be willing to deal with a lot of frustration, partially from the kids, partially from working in a system that could be so much better so simply in so many ways and not being able to talk too much about that because it, it is highly political structure still. Um, people who think that tenure is a bad thing do not understand how important it is. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of downsides and so many upsides. It's my, it's still my favorite job that I would ever, I, I can't imagine a better job, not realistically anyway. So it is a good fit for me. How do you find out if it's a good fit for you? Look for places you can work with kids. Um, like I say, I, I did it in community theater, but you could do it as, you know, uh, in, in camp counselor situations or even, you know, church groups, volunteering with kids, boys clubs, girls clubs, any place where you can work with kids will tell you if that's a good fit. And if it is, then you have to decide, is this a good enough fit to deal with an incredible bureaucracy that comes along with the educational system? Uh, those are things to be concerned about. That's what I would recommend if you're interested in teaching. Um, if not, like I say, look for places you can be helpful to somebody and, and do what you can and do the best job you can at it. That's my career advice from somebody who has not had a stellar rocket ship career that took off from the beginning. It has been, a, it was a long process to get where I am and where I am is, is somewhere uh, doing something I love, but I'm not sure that it's the greatest success I could have been, but that's another story. And maybe I'll talk about that a different time. So that's the story for today. Till next time, don't forget to be awesome. I will talk to you again soon, hopefully.